Hey everyone! So today I'm going to do a tutorial on Britney Spears in her new music video with Will I Am called Scream and Shout. I absolutely love the song. I love the dun 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 dun. So today I'm going to do a really fun sort of eyeliner eye with this sort of pop underneath and a lot of lashes. I heard a lot of people say, "Wow, did she get a Botox or a facelift? Or what what's wrong? She looks really different." Lights, people. Everything in photography and sort of looking younger is light and what they did with Britney was they had this sort of we call it TL tungsten light sort of like this bar of light and what they did was sort of move that around her face up and down everyone looks different with lights it doesn't matter because if you put it right here you kind of look normal but when you put it above you you look sort of like an angel and when you put it below you you look sort of alien-esque anyways this is how to get her makeup from the entire music video if you want to know how to get this then please keep on watching so as always the first thing you want to do is apply your base to your eyelids to prevent the eyeshadow from creasing and the one i'm using is my mac soft ochre paint pot i'm gonna start up with this middle gray color right here and this is number s13 from the um un eyeshadow palette in number p02 that sounded weird but i am weird and it's the end of the world today so it's okay okay so i'm gonna start off by defining the inner part of my crease because i found a shot of the music video for scream and shout and you can see that britney is sort of like in this pose right here and you can see that right here and up until there there's a lot of definition with a sort of gray color then continue throughout the rest of the crease with that taking a big fluffy blending brush i'm going to make it softer and blend it up and out now i'm going to mix the light color with the dark color from this oon palette and darken that inner crease up even more and britney's inner crease was super super defined i'm quickly going to highlight my brow bone using max blanc type eyeshadow For the lid, I'm going to use Max Naked Pigment. We definitely don't want to get naked with this tutorial. Hashtag no nudes. Okay, for the lower lash line, I'm again going to blend these two together and then sort of make a really nice graphic eyeliner with those. And the brush I'm going to use for this is the MAC 266, but I'm going to use it wet. Uh, first, just start defining the middle as close to the lash line as possible. Okay, then once you get to that inner corner, kind of make a sort of a line just underneath it so you kind of have the space free between your real sort of waterline and your lash line so you kind of have a gap. And the same goes for the other side. You kind of want to stay close to the lash line and then wing it out. It's really hard to explain, but you sort of just have to wing it. Bring it back in to connect it to your eye. Okay, now I'm going to take blank type eyeshadow by MAC again, and I'm going to use this wet as well, and that will kind of make it sort of like a, a powdery concealer, which is really nice to make that line underneath really, really precise. And once you've sort of concealed with that eyeshadow, you can really see where you need to lengthen your line and where you sort of have to connect it. So I see that right here, I still have to connect it a little bit more precise. And this inner part should be a little bit longer because it's longer on the other side as well. Okay, for the top eyeliner, I'm just gonna do a really basic winged eyeliner. Okay. 
Okay, so I went ahead and applied some Ben 9 Neutralizer Cream Crayon in Red Concealer Number 1 MP3 to my waterline to really open up them eyes because uh, Brittany was wearing like a really, really light nude color on her waterline to give that Barbie effect. Now for mascara, I'm going to use my Waterproof 3D Extra Black Mascara by Makeup Studio on my top lashes. Then on my bottom lashes, I'm going to use two different ones. This is the mascara by Makeup Studio called Ultimate Curl. And then to further really define them, I'm going to use the Clinique Bottom Lash Line Mascara. It's a really, really small one. And for lashes, I'm going to use the Miss Adoro 747Ms. Okay, for cheeks, I'm first, as always, going to contour with my NYX Blush in Taupe. This is... I would die without this, and I've said that a hundred times now, but I would really... It's... Today is the, like the last day on earth and this is I can't use enough of this we're all gonna die then also do your temples and your forehead a bit now comes the next part that I always do in contouring warming up my face with my Lamesca blush and disobey we all know this as well nothing new here for blush I'm gonna use max Melba and as a highlight, I'm going to use my NARS Albatross, and I want to thank Musha Beauty Gloss, because, because of her, I bought this, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And then also above your brows, and your nose, and your cupid's bow. Look how gold and shiny and pretty Albatross is. And to finish it all off, I'm going to use Flash Pot Lipstick by MAC on my lips. And this is a really nude matte color, which I'm going to blend out with my fingers. And that, guys, completes my look for the Britney Spears Scream and Shout music video inspired recreation tutorial. I really, really like this. I love the thing underneath the eyes. It, it kind of gives you like this Barbie sort of dull pop, but it's still really wearable and fun for parties and it's just really, it's Britney bitch. So yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching. For a full list of every single product used, go to my website NakedTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. That all is Naked Tutorials. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and um, keep on dancing till the world ends. 21st December. 2012. We die. Bye guys.